Hi there, it's me again, Smart Nautilus. I know it's been annoying since Jellyfish Facts has been released. Finally, I can finally talk about the Portuguese Man of War. And no, that thing is not a jellyfish. It's a siphonophore. Let's get started by a... By it. It's a, not... And no, it's not, it doesn't only come from Portugal, it comes from warm oceans all over the world. Of course, oceans, not lakes. And yes, over 100 people are stung by a Portuguese man of war in Florida every year. And yes, it's quite annoying to hear that, but this beauty has, is a killing machine. It does have some weaknesses like sea turtles, but we are not going to talk about that right now, you see. Portuguese man of wars are siphon for. A siphon for is a is a group of animals instead of just one. For example, a jellyfish. And plus, a jellyfish has a bell to propel itself. For example, the sea. For example, the sea nettle. Yeah, swimming in the big dense dense water and there you see they have a balloon a balloon instead of a bell to propel themselves so they're highly unique they're uniquely vulnerable to getting beached on so basically they get on the beach and get beaten around and no do not touch it it's it has a very powerful sting that could cause irritations this is what could happen if if you got stung there's red marks everywhere on you what would you do don't Firstly, get a credit card or some kind of thingy, and then and then put it around here and on the sting side, and then rub it back and forth. <clears throat> Two. To stop making the nematocysts on your skin. At least that's done. Now, uh, you do not use fresh water. Or else that will just, wor just worsen it. And because of the changes in the, in the nematocysts. And, and then put vinegar on it. Vinegar helps a lot. Like vinegar is one of the best choices when you when you're fighting jellyfish things and then put vinegar and then take at least that's done putting vinegar on take a towel and then take hot hot water on it to relieve the pain on the wounded area 
So this is what you do. And remember, do remember, do not pee, do not pee on it. Firstly, firstly, that's gross. Second, secondly, as uh, some water that could just you know, cause it to worsen. So, do not uh, pee on it. Never, ever. I mean, yeah, of course we have a sea net over here. It causes less damage on you. Just tell me it causes like a bit of like that because of its straight tentacles. I mean, yeah, sometimes the Portuguese man of wars could get tangled. They are indeed long, being can stretch about five feet I think and yes you do not if you were fish you will go to heaven or maybe hell if you if you get into this killing machine because this thing is absolutely terrifying it's it's very terrifying a bit of sky blue and I'll be good and yes it is a, and yes people has been stung I never got stung by any jellyfish but I did get stung by one <sighs> and that is the upside down jelly I bumped into it accidentally, and then oof, I got oofed. I'm done. Anyways. Anyways. <clears throat> About that, we, we have lots of things to do, and, and uh, we have lots of things to talk about. The Portuguese man of war. What is it called a Portuguese man of war? Firstly, it's not a man. Or war. Why is it called Portuguese Man of War, you ask? Because mm, this part looks like a sail on old Portuguese warships. That's why it's called a Portuguese Man of War. I mean, yes, it, no, for me, it doesn't even look like a <laughs> battleship. It more looks like. I don't know. Let me try my best to do the. Like the Portugal flag. Because I'm absolutely horrible at it. Absolutely. This more looks like a. This more looks like a Pokemon ball to me. That thing looks more of a Pokemon ball to me. Oof. And then time to do the green part. By the way, green is my favorite color. Mm, just telling you, you uh, comment down below if you, 
if green is your favorite color or just type down what's your favorite color anyways about that we have more to learn about the portuguese man of war the portuguese man of war have babies and the babies are very small and when i searched it up in safari it has lots of pictures of uh, man of wars of man of wars that are tiny in comparison and has a huge very long tentacle about like this size and then a little bit like this and very short cute stubby tentacles and yes it still packs uh, its venom very very badly so you do not want to be playing with babies though this beauty is one of the the most dangerous uh, the sea creatures but that's not as dangerous as the fox jellyfish that we will talk in another video yes another the wind is very bad by the way and with the box jellyfish we also have the iwakanji yes we have lots of things in mind about it so fun fact do you know that the portuguese man of war has an analysis the mouses are tiny, tiny cells, which are, which has a barb inside, ready to launch, and and it's covered by a nitocyte. It open, and then uh, then it will open itself to the mouses, and then launch the harpoon into its victim and then and it produce a line that will spill all the venom in the in the person's or whatever's bloodstream to cause all the nasty stuff and yeah you have the safety rules with me so subscribe and a like and comment down below or else you might see the Portuguese man of war and your pool party. See you guys. The end.